Hello again, and welcome back to yet another video on how to do a polymer, the formation process. Today's video is going to be an addition polymer, uh, but it's an addition copolymer, one that we haven't looked at yet. We've done addition polymers previously using just one monomer. This is two monomers, so an addition copolymer. This is the formation of SB rubber or styrene butadiene rubber from the monomers styrene, which is the first one here, and butadiene, which is the second monomer listed here. All right, so being that this is an addition polymer, this does follow the three step process initiation, propagation, and termination, same as the other addition polymers that we looked at. So step one, initiation, is going to be the same as the initiation for the other single monomer polymers that we already looked at. So the generation of a free radical, we're going to take some uh, diatomic molecule, it's not overly important at this point what molecule it is, so I'm just going to call it X2, generic. X2, it gets exposed to UV light and it cracks the bond between the two X atoms in half and we get two X dot or two X free radicals, two X atoms with a single unbonded electron. Very highly reactive. That's a perfect starting material for uh, an addition polymer. Propagation phase, uh, same as the other monomers and polymers that we looked at. We like to see three propagations, so we're going to look at three propagations or three additions here. We're going to start with our first monomer, which is going to be styrene, and I'm going to draw it very similar to how I did in the other addition polymer videos that um, I have. So CH, double bond, CH2, and I'm going to draw the benzene down because that's sort of in the way. It's not necessarily part of my reaction. It's more of a, you know, the branch attached to my double bond compound here. So styrene uh, like this. Um, this is going to react with our free radical. So the X free radical is going to try to bond to that styrene molecule. It's going to force the double bond to break. One electron goes left one goes to the right, just the same as it did in the other example, the other videos that we looked at. So X becomes bonded to the styrene molecule. That double bond is now a single. And there's our free electron. Now this high energy now monomer with an unbonded electron is very reactive. Being that this is an alternating copolymer as well, the next phase of this is to add the butadiene. So this is going to get added to this molecule, this compound, with two double bonds. Okay, so CH2 double bond CH, then we've got a single bond, another CH, and then a double CH2. So this free electron here on this end of the styrene molecule is going to try to bond in the same process that the X free electron did initially. It's going to try to bond to CH2. It's going to force this CH2, or sorry, this double bond here to crack and break. So one electron goes left to meet the incoming. One goes to the right. When it does that, um, the double bond that's attached on the end here also breaks at the same time, right? To make room for the electron that's sort of moving along the chain. So this double bond breaks and one electron comes to the left to meet the now incoming. And one electron goes to the right towards the end of the chain. So this is gonna create a long new um, polymer chain. Let's see if I can get this drawn out without making too many mistakes. So there's CH2. This is now bonded to a CH2. The first double bond 
has broken, that's now a single. It gets bonded to CH. This single bond here is now a double. And there's another CH. And that last double bond on the right is now a single CH2 plus the free electron. All right, remembering that this is an alternating copolymer. So I've got the butadiene molecule here on the right-hand side of this. This is going to add the styrene molecule next. And it's going to do that in the same fashion that the butadiene was added initially. So free electron in, double bond breaks, one left, one to the right. And then the polymer chain is now growing again. So I'm going to write this one again. Like I said, without hopefully making any mistake, the longer this chain gets, the easier it becomes to kind of make a mistake, leave out a hydrogen or leave out a CH2 or what have you. So just be really careful when you're drawing this. Okay. So this CH2 electron here is now added to my styrene molecule, so that becomes a single bond to the CH with the benzene in the downward position. That double bond is now single, and I've got a CH2, right, single electron on the end. So this process continues over and over and over again, alternating one monomer after another until the chain gets very, very long. Uh, at some point, right, we're gonna stop, stop this process, and uh, you're gonna wanna do your termination phase so that you can collect your product. Now I could show another propagation here. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at this point, but if you wanna go ahead and add a third um, step here, a third propagation, you would add the butadiene molecule to this. So this would add uh, the butadiene, so CH2 double bond, CH, CH, CH2. I'm gonna leave that for you to try see what you come up with for your third product, your third propagation. To finish off this polymer, of course, you want to terminate it at some point so that you can collect the product. And the termination, again, is the same as the other addition polymers that we already looked at. We're gonna add hydrogen, add H2. So I'm gonna redraw this, this guy here as my propagation product, and then we'll add a hydrogen H2 on the end. And apologies that it's gonna be looking a little bit small because I'm gonna try to fit everything here in the one sort of area. You can see how they do get quite um, long and sometimes a little bit messy, depending on, you know, what what monomers you're working with. The bigger the monomers are, obviously, the more that this is gonna get a little bit confusing and then easier to make a mistake as well, and you don't really wanna do that. So you've gotta be very careful when you're copying, you know, these sort of over. So there's my propagation product. This adds hydrogen at, in the termination phase. So add H2. Electrons are gonna do the same thing as they did in the previous uh, addition polymer examples that we've already done. So an electron comes in, forces the bond to break. One electron goes left, one electron goes right. And then I'm gonna redraw this whole thing again one last time. And again, apologies that it's sort of squatty here and a little bit smaller at the bottom of the screen. The same thing will happen. So if you've reviewed some of the other additions, the addition polymers, uh, the same thing is going to happen on this one as the previous examples. And that CH2 on the end is adding an extra hydrogen. So that becomes CH3. So there's the difference 
right here, this and this is the difference between your, your say your final propagation product and then your termination product, right? It closes off the chain, it stops that free electron from moving through the chain, it closes it, and then the, the, the polymer then is able to be collected and used, you know, industrially. The other product here is an H free radical, hydrogen free radical, which uh, is free then to go off and, you know, start the process again, or perhaps even end, end another polymer chain. So have a look at this um, example from your workbook. We'll also go over this in class, of course, and uh, give it a try yourself. It is a bit of a longer process because the two monomers are a little bit big. Uh, so it can be a little bit confusing, but give it a try yourself. Um, you won't certainly won't learn it, learn it unless you practice it. So have a look at it, try it yourself, um, and if you have any questions, of course, you can always ask. Good luck, and um, I'll see you in the next video.